Here we are at the Sue Ryder Mascot Golf Cup 2015, sponsored by Foresters. And this footage is sponsored by Debbie and Andrew's Sausages. Here we have uh, Mr. and Mrs. Peanuts the Penguin from Airedale Shopping Centre, followed by Sketch and Missy from um, Frankie and Benny's. Then we've got one of the Pride of Weatherby Lions there, number 28, Freddie Cougar from Keith the Cougars, Air Bear from the Airedale Shopping Centre, followed along by Ballerina Bunny. And uh, also representing Airedale Shopping Centre, there's the leader of the gang, it's Philbert the Squirrel. There uh, we've got Goofy and uh, TJ Tiger, the final members of the Airedale Shopping Centre squad. And here we've got the rest of the Pride of Lions uh, from Weatherby Lions. Uh, do a great job, the Weatherby Lions, and they're certainly turning out in force here today to promote their duck race later on in the summer. There we've got Farmers Blonde. Uh, the big beer bottle and then we've got uh, Morrison's contingent then of the Hungry Monster, Lobster, uh, Nutella the Bear, uh, the Mr Pig and uh, following Mr Pig is Cheeky the Hamster from Manolan's Hospice and then we've got PC Man there from West Yorkshire Police. Next up we have Sid from Megabus, you'll see his face on the side of the buses as you're going up and down the motorway. And then we've got, from the White Ribbon campaign, we've got Davy, Daisy and Danny the Dog. Uh, they're all uh, from over in Hebden Bridge. There we've got Be Active, and then we've got the Slug and Lettuce Slugs. And um, there's the Greasy Beaver from the Sue Rider Headingley Shop. There we've got uh, Fenny Fenman, from Wisbeck Town Football Club, Mick the Skip, and followed up by another construction related mascot, that's Plus Chameleon from the Chameleon School of Construction near Sheffield. Another builder here, we've got um, Kieran from Kia, and uh, he's brought his own horse along to the races today. And then we've got Spud representing the old time fisheries uh, from Keithley. And then we've got Courage the Cat from Cash for Kids. And then we've got a selection of mascots representing West Yorkshire Police here. We've got uh, Paul the Padlock, number 67. Number 65 is Sherlock. And just passing them is Cyril the Manolan's Hospice Squirrel. Then we've got our two crowd favourites from uh, local Stockell Park. That's Pom Pom the Polar Bear in front, followed by Stanley the Stag. And uh, after those two, that's Sammy the Saint from St Albans FC and the Little Chef there from Little Chef Restaurants. He was being followed by Harris the Hound from the Harris Partnership. There he is, doing a twirl for the camera, number 43. Next up is the Keithley News News Hound, uh, representing the Keithley newspaper there. And there's Chad Power. He's from St Chad's Brewfield Cricket Club, supporting Sue Ryder today as is Mrs Pig, who's from uh, Morrison's store at Horsford. Then we've got Oh Dear Me, number 69, uh, all the way from uh, Bridlington today, as is the next one up, who is Sid the Pig, also supporting Sue Ryder there. And then we've got Hero from Leeds Guide Dogs, followed by the Wheatfields Hospice Star, uh, representing one of Sue Ryder's hospices at Wheatfields there. Next up, we've got Hartley Hart, the brand new mascot of Heart Research UK. And then we've got a, another debutante mascot here, that's Ellie from the SRSB. And we've got Donut the Dog, representing Willis Croft and Co. He's another debutant at the races today, number 38 there. Here's Willie Winnett from Mascots UK Limited. And there's Lawrence the Frog. And uh, here's Ollie the Owl from Cleethorpe's Town followed by uh, Rory the Rom from uh, Romulus UK down in the Black Country and there's Teo the South African Lion representing South African Fruit. Next up we've got Gerald the Horse just been uh, checked out by our handicapper today Ian Whittaker who's been the volunteer who's put much of this race together. Then we've got Spend a Penny in the Toilet uh, representing Water Aid, Captain Keeple and First Steposaurus, Greenwood the Dog representing Morrison's 
And there we've got Hero the Handsome Hurdling Horse representing Kia and Macmillan today. Next up we've got Festival Freddy representing Go Racing in Yorkshire. He should know the track well today. Followed by Sherlock from West Yorkshire Police. Then we've got two Fair Trade Bananas. They're in the Airedale Shopping Centre stable. And they're followed by Bradford Scoey. And that's Vinny the Vulture, uh, representing Schofield Sweeney. Uh, at uh, number 40 is uh, Cliff the Castle, representing the Keepley Town Centre Association. The lead Scoey, also representing Schofield Sweeney, that's the Meerkat. And then we've got the White Rose of Yorkshire, representing Foresters. And then here's a new mascot for us, it's Ivor Goodsight, representing Kia today. And then there's mascot number one, Sunny the Sunflower, representing Sue Ryder. Sonny's the other mascot that's never missed a year. And, um, and then we've got Melanie and Minty from More Mascots Please. And following those two is Ongo Bear from Ongo. And then we've got three mascots representing the Sports Turf Research Institute. That's Sammy Sponge, Danny Daz, Bobby Bleach and Paddy Pale, followed by Madame Chalet, one of the Wombles, representing Buller's Cleaning Services. And there's the other three, Tom's Uncle Bulgaria and Orinoco. And next up, it's um, Buster Bear, number 90. Or is that Buddy? One of those two anyway, there's number 91. Buster and Buddy come from Red Row Homes. And in front of those two is the um, Worth Valley Event Bear. He's a big lad and uh, he'll be looking for a big result in the race today. We've got uh, Mr. Smith, all the way from Northern Ireland. He's Cuddles the Kingship Bear, making uh, her debut here at Weatherby today. And then we've got uh, uh, Jungle the Elephant and Ping Pong Panda and the Wellard Wolf. And check out the Fox, Dollar the Donkey and Morris, the Morrison's character. They're all from Morrison's. Um, Morrison's turning out in force today at the Mascot Gold Cup. Then we've got Wensley the Whippet from the Yorkshire Game Fair. And next up there we've got the PCSO Lady representing West Yorkshire Police. And here we've got the first of our stable from Airedale Hospital, that's Lego Man. And um, hopefully he won't be in Airedale Hospital by the end of today's proceedings. Here behind Mr and Mrs Peanuts the Penguin we've got our sausages, they're also representing BPEX and uh, they're from Airedale Hospital today and you'll see that they're wearing the uh, GoPro cameras that's so that we can use sausage cam uh, later on in the uh, proceedings when it comes to the mascot gold cup to the second furthest travelled mascot ever to come to us in our history, our 10 year history of the mascot gold cup and that's Cuddles the Kinship Bear who's come from Northern Ireland today so a big round of applause for Cuddles If you want to come in Heathcliff, here we go. Heathcliff has come all the way from Germany to take part today, so a big round of applause. Who would have ever thought when we came up with the Mascot Golf Cup that we'd have people coming from Germany? We certainly never did, but you're very welcome Heathcliff. Right, well I'm Andrew Wood, I'm a fundraiser at Sue Ryder Manolan's Hospice and um, yeah, about 10 years ago when we were at uh, Yorkshire Young Farmers started the Mascot Golf Cup and uh, we just did it for a laugh in the first year and we thought, oh we've hit on something here. So we came to Sue Ryder and um, it's grown and grown over the years. It's raised over £130,000 for just Sue Ryder over the years and of course mascots can support other charities as well. A similar amount for other charities too. So um, from a daft idea it's, it's really kind of come on very well and obviously mascots are supporting their own charities but over half are supporting Sue Ryder today and so that money will be going on the uh, incredible care that we provide uh, mainly um, in this area obviously in Yorkshire, Manolan's Hospice near Keithley, Wheatfields Hospice near Leeds and uh, our neurological care which we provide at Home Hall near York. Well, it's obviously grown from when it was a daft idea. I bet the daft idea was in the pub, wasn't it? But anyway, we won't go into that. How many mascots do we actually have here today then, Andrew? Well, we had 140 sign up. 
uh, we knew there were going to be six non-runners and a, a few moments ago we were worried that we weren't going to get to the world record because we hadn't got a hundred signed up now I'm hoping that some more have joined in since then if we get a hundred of the right quality <laughs> Then um, and the Guinness World Records are very strict on this. Then we, the first thing we're going to do when we leave the parade ring is go for the world record, which is a kilometre run. Uh, some may run, some may walk, but that's going to happen first before the mascot golf club. Right. So each year we have a, a competition called the UK Mascot of the Year, and uh, last year this was won uh, by More Mascots Please, and uh, that's run by a young lady who's here with us in the parade ring called Kerry Davies and uh, she's here to pass on the baton today to the mascot that we're, the judges have voted just turn around very will you there we go that the judges have voted the uk's best mascot for this year and that i'm delighted to say is berry bear so give berry bear a big round of applause and if um, if lizzie Proctor who's the hospice director of Sue Ryder Manor's Hospice, can make this presentation, please. Lizzie, could you make this presentation for us, please? So this is to Berry Bear for the UK Mascot of the Year. And Berry Bear works for the FA, and um, it does loads of good work helping to promote women's football. He's out all the time uh, promoting ladies, uh, uh, ladies football, women's football, and this year with the Lionesses going for glory in Canada, he's going to have a very, very busy year. So that's chosen by the judges. Second prize, we've got Tippy Tap from Water A. So if we can just turn you around, and um, Kerry Davis is here. She's going to present the prize to you. Yeah, so presented by uh, Fred and Val Buller, who are the sponsors of the Best Turned Out mascot on the theme of Keep It Clean. In uh, first place is Kieran from Kieran. So come down here, Kieran. <laughs> he's, he's going for a ride. That's the gives his horse a little bit of water and then comes to get his prize. So let's get a shot of uh, Kieran. Buzz, if you just step to the side again, sorry. You just, to say that you're meant to be inconspicuous as a chameleon, you do get in the way, don't you? So, big smile, everybody uh, handing over the trophy. So this is second best mascot in parade, Bus to the Bear, being presented by our representative from Foresters, Carol Smith. This is for the best mascot in parade, uh, as judged by your team there, and it's Buzz Chameleon. So um, if I can... What a field we've got here for the 2015 10th anniversary Mascot Gold Cup. We've never had so many mascots here at Weatherby before and uh, with a lot of luck, hopefully we'll break the Guinness World Record later for the most mascots in a race.
people fly past me, guys, but I can't do it. So it won't be too much longer before the mascots are sent on their way. It's a handicap starting system in terms of release, but uh, the best ones are at the back. The best ones being in terms of the ones with the least flamboyant costumes. So you've got the addition of a water jump at the end here, an open ditch as well. The sausages start first, they're regulars here. They try very hard, but um, it takes them a while to finish. Also got Lego Man and Cliff the Castle towards the front, and also one of the uh, dogs as well. Davy Dog 47 is positioned quite close to the front as well. 43 ran well in the mile race. That is Harris the Hound. He's quite handily placed. So Claire will drop the flag and send them on their way when everyone is happy. And they're off and racing at least Lego Man is. He's the one that gets the start. Come on, Lego Man. And he's not doing badly, actually, Lego Man. The sausages are underway. Cliff the castle as well. Thing for Lego Man is he's got to see whether he can jump. And now the main body of the field. Oh, my word, it's like the cavalry charge. Harris the Hound is up there. Davy Dog's not far away. Let's see if anyone's coming from the back. 21 is finishing off uh, pretty strongly. That's Olga Bear, but still the Lego Man has the lead. Um, also coming there strongly towards the far side is Olga Bear, Harris the Hound. Lego Man slowing down. Olga Bear moves through the lead. Harris the Hound. 87 is also finishing off pretty strongly as well. That's a Jungle the Elephant. Olga Bear, Harris the Hound towards the inside. Also running on strongly is 117, I think that is, towards the inside. And that is... Hugo the Hulk, oh, I don't know what he's called, but he, he's very far. Oh, there's a Paulus at the last, and also finishing very strongly. One of the dogs has come through. Olga Bear was second. One of the dogs has come through to lead. Berry Bear ran on strongly in the closing stages, may have grabbed a place. And also right behind these um, was one of the elephants, but the Ram's going up for 49. So one of the dogs came right through from the back. It's Daisy Dog. Daisy Dog it is, who's got up and won. Olga Bear 21 is certainly in the frame. And we'll get confirmation of the other placed uh, mascots as well. Still, they crossed the line. We had over 140, 120 of them, we believe, have completed the uh, one kilometer that was required for the world record attempt. But just to confirm, 49, the winner there. And that is officially Daisy Dog. So Daisy Dog, the winner. And he put everything into that race. It means such a lot to these mascots. He's made himself sick as a dog. And here we have the uh, presentation for the 2015 Sue Ryder Mascot Golf Cup sponsored by Foresters. It's for the first professional mascot uh, now that's for the one that um, week in week out represents their club and uh, and does this kind of thing. Of that one, and I'm not sure what position he came in overall, but that's Leeds Rhinos Ronnie Rhino, and that's going to be, be presented by Lizzie Proctor of Sue Ryder Manlands Hospice. There we go, certificate and trophy. Well done, Ronnie. Just look at the camera for one second. And the next one that we've got is going to be... Thank you. Ronnie, can you do that pause again? And the next
next one is going to be for the uh, last home without stopping. Two of the favourites here at the Mascot Gold Cup. That's our two sausages, Mr and Mrs Sausage. Give them a big round of applause. And that will be um, Carol who presents that. Carol from Foresters, Carol Smith. Foresters, our main sponsor here at the Mascot Gold Cup. There you go, probably. So well done to the two sausages. They don't get anywhere fast, but they always get there in the end. Okay, guys. Thumbs up again, please. And next we're going to do fourth place, which will be presented by Lizzie Proctor of Sue Ryder. And uh, that goes this year. He was second last year. This year he's fourth. That's Berry Bear. From the FA group. That's fourth place, quick photo there. It, it was good there. And getting ready for third now, we have Hero the Hurdling Horse, representing Kia and Macmillan. And Carol, can you do that one, please? The horse just took his hoof off, you don't see that often. And next up, in second place, runner up was Ongo Bear. Well done on board. That's presented again by Lizzie Proctor. And these mascots will also be receiving checks for their chosen charity as well. And then first, with a certificate and a trophy, we have Daisy Dog from the White River Campaign in Hedden Bridge. And that's presented by Carol again from Foresters. A big round of applause, and we just have left. We've got the highest race for Sue Ryder, which is for Lammy and Beefy, Keel and Farm Shop, and they've managed to raise uh, £2,750, and we've got a trophy and a certificate for those. Harry. Oh. And so if mascots can just make the way to the edge of the parade ring over by the gate. And we're just going to do the draw for the winning tickets for the people who bet on them in the Tote Sport uh, sponsored uh, Predict the Winner. So we've had a great day once again here at Weatherby Races for the 2015 Mascot Gold Cup. Amazing amount of money has been raised. £18,000 plus for Sue Ryder and a further 3500 for other worthy causes. We've all had a good time in the sunshine and all these mascots we hope will join us next year in spring for the 2016 Mascot Gold Cup.